All right, everybody, so welcome back to Kinetic Energy 1085. Um, this is going to be just a brief talking instructional video. It's not gonna be a whole bunch of excitement. Just wanna disclose that real quick. Um, second, just wanna thank all the subscribers of this channel. For both of my channels, uh, actually, the other one is Red Right Return for boating industry, wave runners, PWCs, jet skis, and it's a uh, a 2022 Yamaha VX Cruiser with a TR1 engine. Anyway, so I knew when I started channels that, you know, how it is on YouTube, people get pretty opinionated, pretty antagonistic, pretty insulting on YouTube. I, I am literally here to thank everybody who subscribes to my two channels and keeps it civil and actually gives constructive feedback and, and just say positive, supportive things. So um, appreciate that. Thanks. So to get started, yes, um, you came here to ask about, should I leave handgun magazines fully loaded? Uh, remember, there's a lot of people that come here that are new to gun ownership, they have questions. Um, I can tell you, I'm not a newbie. I'm, I was in the military, um, United States Marines, so I have lots of firearms training. I shoot regularly for many, many years, and I also talk to gun shop people, gun manufacturers, former SWAT people that own gun ranges. I ask for a ton of input and their knowledge. Uh, so I can tell you that at least what I'm telling you is um, fairly accurate. Um, I'm gonna say I, I'm confident that what I tell you is, is, is legit, but of course I'm not an actual certified expert, but I also go from a lot of it being a lot of it from experience. So the test gun I'm going to be talking about is a Glock 23 Gen 1. So it is a first generation Glock. And this, this gun I, I obtained and I obtained legally. I obtained it back in 2002. 2002 I've had this gun. And it was a former police officer's uh, uh, service weapon. So obviously they had to train with their service weapons. So God only knows how many rounds were fired out of this handgun before it became mine. And I can tell you, all the years I've had it since 2002, I'm not exaggerating when I say thousands of rounds have been, have been fired through this gun. Glocks can handle standard ammunition plus P and plus P plus. I have other videos talking about what that means, but basically they can handle any load you put through it. You know, as long as it's SAMI, uh, S-A-M-M-I uh, specifications, not slick ricks, homegrown. Uh, let me see how much nuclear energy I can put in this caliber. Um, anyway, so again, um, keeping it right here, it's usually my go-to sidearm. I carry a Glock 20 on a shoulder holster in the winter. But anyway, of course, we're pointing it to self direct in a safe direction. Finger out the trigger, slide release, magazines out. We're just gonna pump it once. Okay, so this is a safe weapon. But just check it out as close as you can. I mean, this is an old, except for that sight I put on it, and then I, I just recently bought a new spring. You can see the silver in the front. It's a very old block. And um, part of what they say is, one, you can't leave magazines fully loaded because the spring is going to fail and it's not going to cycle. I know you probably can't see too well, you know, here on a video, but I can tell you these magazines are the original. The, the way I obtained this firearm, I'm not going to bring anybody involved in it. Uh, of course, it was legally. Came, they gave me two magazines. This is still one of those original magazines. I keep these fully loaded. They've been in a safe, they've been fully loaded in a car. They have been fully loaded all of the time since at least 2002. And these magazines have never once failed to cycle. They have never had a fail to feed, a fail to eject, a stove pipe. So I, I figured I would I I at least make a video on this because I also keep a rifle of a 556. I have three magazines. They're loaded to capacity. I've had it two years now. Still take it out to the range. 
zero fail to feed, fail to eject. I don't want you to take a 22 caliber handgun and do that because 22 caliber is known for cycling issues. Do not test this on a 22 caliber handgun because then you're going to say Kinetic Energy 1085 and all these other people are just full of garbage because they're saying you can keep magazines fully loaded. 22 caliber is just excluded, okay, because they, they have cycling issues. But I, I at least wanted to tell you that. Gen 1, Glock 23, um, nothing's ever failed, but I just decided to go ahead and replace the spring, uh, the recoil spring. And these magazines are the originals, loaded to capacity since at least 2002. The only time the tension is relieved is when I take them out to the range and start firing them. And yes, I've put even Underwood ammunition through these magazines and through this gun. Underwood ammunition is basically just the, uh, a very high performance, loaded to capacity, but very, very high quality um, ammunition manufacturer. So that's one. I also want to just talk about two other things really quick before you go. So my advice is, as long as you have 380 caliber or above, in your handgun, um, we're just gonna talk about handguns, you can keep those magazines fully loaded and it's probably not gonna be an issue. But now I also wanna have, a, because we're talking about 40 caliber here, so again, thousands of rounds fired through this, people say, you're gonna see YouTube videos of people saying 40 caliber, 10 millimeter, let's just say 40, because I also have 10 millimeter. Everyone's gonna tell you, High pressure round, 40 caliber is known for kabooms because it's just too much abuse on the handgun. It, it's it's going to crack the frame, the plastic, as they say. It's actually polymer, it's not plastic. They say the abuse of firing 40 caliber over time, it's going to crack the frame. This thing's in beautiful condition. I inspect it all the time. No cracks. Nothing has broken. Uh, so I also want to kind of debunk that. I'm going to tell you something. With the experience I have, and then even just watching other YouTube videos on what causes a kaboom, every time I watch a video that causes a kaboom, you know what it is? It's always been a hand load. Slick Rick in his garage doing his hand loads. I don't know. I'm not saying that Slick Rick isn't and doesn't know what he's doing. But when you watch these videos and you hear about a kaboom, it's always going to say, it was some kind of hand load. 40 caliber people do recycle that brass. Do not recycle 10 millimeter brass. That is like severely high pressure, high power, and that brass will be compromised at the one spot that is not fully supported by the case mount. So don't panic about buying 40 caliber either. It is a very stout round. It's just 1.45 millimeter smaller than the big bad 45 that they say is like a a boulder hitting you at 900 miles an hour, but it's also faster than 45, and it's not going to blow up. I mean, I, I've, I've shot, and I even know friends that have 40 caliber handguns. They don't just blow up. All right, so I wanted to um, disclose that as well. So there's there's two things. Can you keep magazines fully loaded? Yes. Um, it, it's probably a slim chance that your magazine is going to fail, and the gun's not going to cycle. It's a, it's a slim chance, and I, I wanted to use this because I've had this for years. Two 40 caliber handguns do not just blow up on their own for no reason when you buy factory ammunition. Um, I, I can attest to that as well. So the third thing I want to talk about is, before we go here, sometimes I like to bring educational things into this. Uh, uh, just correct me if I'm wrong. Leave it in the comments if I got this wrong. I believe it was called Wawa. Was it Wawa? It was, it was a city. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm probably really messing this up. I probably don't have my story straight. Recently, it's been on the news. I'll just give you this scenario. So, I, th I believe it was in Chicago. It was at a gas station convenience store. Dude walks in. Uh, yeah, he has a, a shotgun. It is tucked under his arm, pointed at the floor. He walks in the gas station. The clerk sees him come in with this, with this gun. He grabs his handgun, evidently it was a 45, and just asks the guy. He's like, um, you know, I said, what's going on? What's good? I, I forgot what it was. Um, so the guy just has his gun down here. I mean, yeah, it was kind of dumb when he said, I got this big mother effing gun, but it still pointed the floor. And then he says, I don't mean you any harm. Well, guess what happened to this guy? He didn't buy anything. He didn't, he didn't do anything 
but he was arrested for robbery. For Pete's sake, people need to understand the law, okay? Because I'm telling you what happened was not a robbery. I don't care what state you live in. The penal law is the penal law. Here's the exact definition of a robbery. To deprive someone of one's property by force or with the threat of physical force. So I could even walk up to you and say, give me all your money. Is that robbery? No. I mean, look at me just like this. Is, is that robbery? No, that's, that's what's called a request. And you can pretty much tell me no. So let's say I, I kind of do one of these. Hey, give me all your money. Is that robbery? No. Did I threaten you with physical force? Did I hit you? Did I lunge at you with a blunt object, dangerous instrument? It's not robbery. These DAs and these law enforcement officers cannot charge people with these things. If the guy walked in, sure, I'd be a little weary. I mean, why are you carrying a shotgun that's tucked under your arm? But here, here's the key point. Your Second Amendment is your right to keep and bear arms. I don't care what these states say because they're basically unconstitutional laws. He comes in, it's pointed down to the floor in a safe direction. He never once asked for anything. He never once pointed the gun at anybody. And he never made any kind of threat to take anything by force. And he was arrested for robbery. Come on, man. Know this world's coming to. But anything, anyway, just some more tips for you all. Know the law and know what you're hearing before you make judgments on any of these things that happen out in this world. Two, 40 caliber is not going to blow up for no apparent reason. And three, it's safe to keep magazines fully loaded. Semper Fi. Get it! Come on, man.